Hey, wait a minute. Where the heck is my game? There you go. <laughs> Good one. Salutations, class, and welcome back. This has been one of my all-time most anticipated games to begin on this channel. I still haven't had a chance to play it myself, so I'm super excited on this Friday evening to be getting into this. If all goes well, I might even keep this past our usual stream in time, since it is a Friday. A warm welcome to everyone in here, Muffins, Chris, Avid, James, and Stella. There we go, click something, and... Aw, they had a little intro started up, but I guess I already exited out of it. Fine. I'll just go on with a usual start the game then. Ah, okay, so I do think we have a chance to replay the intro. I started it up just to make sure that I had all the um, sound and capture settings correct, but... Okay, we're back in the usual beginning sequence here. Audio, microphone, everything should be good. I'm quite certain that with the fame this game has, acured, has um, acquired, a lot of y'all should be familiar with the rules here. But just in case... The whole point of the game... Well, of course a computer scientist would like it. The whole point of the game... is about changing the rules. The most important of which being that Baba would be myself. Chat is here and Baba is you. If you end up playing this for like six hours, you're literally going to think of if-then statements. Or, actually, I suppose these would be more like class or variable assignments. We can walk ourselves out of the room here and do a simple little bit of rock is push. But just to mess around with things... Okay, good. The microphone is not picking up all the key clacking, which I will end up doing a lot of. Just to keep in the spirit of the game, let's go ahead and win ourselves a little bit unconventionally. So, simple case is, you find rules and you manipulate them to be able to get ahead. Oh, that's interesting. Z is undo. So any corporation. I suppose they uh, actually they more of keep the status quo. The rules that were changed were changed quite a long time ago. In keeping with our demonstration proper, the first thing we do is disable the rule of wall being stopped. It is a very, very cute game, Usagi. I'd assume you've heard of it. This game's very, very famous. Okay, so Z is the undo button. Does that mean X is... Oh, spacebar is accept. Okay, so it looks like we do have quite a few new folks here. As a reflection of our previous level, we have objects being swapped around. Hmm. With wall is you, that means this is what we control. Hmm. Is there even a Baba? Yep, and if you ever get to a situation where you disable a U, um, we have now officially softlocked our game. Although we do have the Z button as an undo. Notice that the music stops when that happens. 
Sure, we might have created a Baba, but now we don't have a you. Baba is here to exist, contemplating his existence forever in silence. Hmm. Well, obviously the solution here is just move around a flag is when. But I... Hmm... Let's think about this. No, I don't think there's a way we can set it to wall is Baba is you all in one go. I think we can go ahead and afford to stop. Stop stalling on that one. The whole point is, you do need to get the win correct. Not necessarily that you have to be Baba. There's actually a lot of, well, Turing complete situations you can end up with in this game. And even quite a few programming loops. So, water is sink, meaning Baba doesn't know how to swim. Of course, we can go ahead and revert that, and if you put anything into sync, it causes both objects to self-destruct. Now our idea is... we need to be able to get our way down there. If we don't have to use both rocks, we probably shouldn't focus on that. What would be easiest for us is if we pushed it in through here in the center, and that gives us the most potential moves we can do with the rock now that we can move the rock in any direction. Hmm. Oh, easy. The flag there is a red herring. Indeed, Kirito. Rock is when. You're getting what we're supposed to be doing here. Be the Baba. I have become one with the Baba. Look at me and all my adorable fluffy roundness. Do I have any accessories for that? I've got the cat ears, but I don't think there's any little... I mean, we have no idea what Baba is. Probably something like a sheep. Well, welcome, Ep Epicity? Uh... I'm uncertain how to pronounce your name. Please do direct me. So, Skull is defeat, so obviously, sorry Baba, but you are a time-traveling demon, so... We don't have to worry about sacrificing him for a couple of demonstrations. One thing that you will find about some of the rules in these levels... Epic Kitty. Epic Kitty. Oh! I like that, actually. Alright, noted. Epic Kitty. So, whenever you have rules embedded here in the corner of a level, you can't push these out. You don't have a function to drag an object away. I tried to pronounce it phonetically, and I definitely couldn't figure out where to stress the syllables. Alright, hmm. Rock is push. And skull is defeat. So what we need to do here... Since we can actually overlay a lot of objects on top of other ones... We need to invalidate that rule. And... Bada bing bada boom! People have made a lot of weird situations in this, like, um... I've even seen someone make a Tetris engine in this game. Yeah, it can be hard to distinguish undoing from regular actions, but... For the most part, in the beginning, it should be pretty intuitive to follow things along. 
Ooh, Frogger sounds delightful. Let's see, we'll push this out of the way since I don't think we ever have a need to change that. Hmm. Lava is hot, Baba is melt. We can't move these out of their situation, so what we can do... Ah! We steal the rules from over here. And there we go! This one was actually in the trailer. So... That one, I kind of already knew this uh, solution to. And it seems we're already getting off to a very strong start. Welcome, Aaron. For you, we're not going to substitute any BGM since we are very early into our stream here. But you'll have to take my promise. That's about a third. Ah, got kind of a um, Super Mario World level up here. Kind of world world map. Hmm. Wall is stop. Skull is defeat. Flag is win. Rock is also stop. So we can't immediately push those rocks out of the way. First guess obviously would be invalidating wall is stop because at any time we can just push that back in. Hmm, I wonder what happens if we do... Ah, if you're inside a wall, you can stay inside. Good thing that existing inside a wall does not immediately terminate Baba. Hmm. You don't always have to be Baba in these situations. Now, for a lot of the earlier levels, I don't think we have any problem with just trying to be complete with a lot of our puzzle solutions. Hmm. We can't maneuver around the grass. This right here would be a pushing puzzle, I'd imagine. So we have to get... wait a minute. Yeah, the wall is a red herring. That, in fact, does not actually make us stop. So what we can do here... If we move any one of these tiles here, we immediately stop everything going on. So, Baba is you has to stay in place here. But for what I know about these kinds of games, there's nothing stopping us from doing a little one of these. One is for two different rules. Yeah, just a bunch of little tricks for us to remember at the beginning. Hmm. We'll need a couple more secrets for this one, so I assume... That would have been our tutorial. Here, now, we have the first of the real levels. See, I know you're joking, Kuma. Otherwise, I'd have to destroy you for joking about... One of the single most innovative indie games to ever be made. I'm sorry, did I say indie game? One of the most innovative games to ever be made. 
Oh, right. Jelly is sink, flag is win, bava is you, and sink. Hmm. As expected. Hmm. Jelly is sink, flag is win, wall is stop. Baba is you and... Wall? <laughs> hmm. Ah, oh, wait. We can push these now. We have two open spots on the slide here, so how about Wall and Baba is you? Oh, and that pushes all the rules alongside it. So I guess we just go for the full blown assault here. I don't see any path that seems like it would be better for us. <laughs> Just get the entire military in there. See, I'm already still in the mindset of, um, Toho from two days ago, so I keep thinking Z would be the accept button. That's how it is for a lot of other arrow key games I have. Hmm. Star is sink. Skull is defeat. I imagine we want to make a crab is you, given that we're... Hmm. No, not technically. Ah, we want to get the crab and Baba there, so... Since we can't manipulate the skull... Yeah, the instant the music stops, it means there's nothing more you can control. So, star is push. That just deletes it if it runs into- oh, wait. Hmm. But, can we do a sink and push? What interaction does that have? Haha! -ha! There we go! So now... We can't move the crab left, because if we move it along the left side wall, we're not going to be able to move it down here. But if we push something in, then the instant this block is locked off, we won't be able to move in from here. So the solution, and they kind of hint at this with the fact that you have these open squares right next to it. Push crab up. Crab and Baba is you. And there we go. God, I, I can't even think of something like that. The idea of a level that explicitly tries to lie to you. We've got the little dandelion icons. I wonder if that's a condition for finding some secret solutions. Love is push. Oh, the heart. Hmm.
So what I imagine we want to do... Does Baba block... No, Baba does not block either of them off. So what if I... One turn earlier. Alchi is defeat. Hmm. So if we do this. Ah, I see. They'll change depending on what direction we move them last. So, we want to move Keke down here, then move him facing that direction. And he's not going to be able to push the love yet. And now... <laughs> Precious. Although, if I try to gr grab that right now... Ah, yeah, still... Love is push. So, bring that out of the way, and there's our solution. Keke is the little red boy. Some of these, um... Some of these levels are gonna give us a couple different solutions. And a couple of different playable characters. You already saw we don't have to explicitly abide by Baba is you. So, sometimes we'll have other usable, playable characters in here. Flag is win, pillar is push, Baba is you, star is defeat. Welcome back, Jay. Delighted to see you. So we need to get past the star. We can do something like pillar is star. Pillar is you? That would just cause the pillars to disintegrate the instant they run into the star. If you push pillar into star, does it destroy star? Since star is defeat, no. They don't have any interaction, and I can't push through from that because that ends up with a defeat from there. I will take that hydrate. We can do pillar is star, pillar is defeat. Baba is Pillar. Pillar is Baba. Those don't help us because we can't get the stars out of the way. Hmm. See, we can't, again, we can't mess with Baba is you directly, so we have to do something with the pillars. Wait a minute.
So, first guess. No, the flag does not have push. We can put flag is push up there, but then we wouldn't get pillar is push. Wall is push. What happens if pillar is you? Yeah, we'll be able to control all the um, pillars and walls simultaneously. We can try wall is pillar. Okay, idea. Now that we've done that, We don't have to worry about any walls stopping us at this point, so I don't really think we need to worry about, um... Hmm. Put a pillar over the flag, then change the pillar. Wait, you might be onto something. I think that's it, actually. Would you look at that? Very cleverly done. Perhaps I'm overthinking things a bit. Flag is you, Baba, or flag is win, Baba is you, wall is stop. Easy enough. <laughs> as long as there's still one you left on the stage, we're able to win. Submerged ruins. Baba is you. Crab. Hmm. Rock is push. Crab is defeat. Flag is win. Yeah, wall is still stopped. That lets us walk through the rock. I feel like that's the only rule we're allowed to manipulate. So we already know Crab is defeat. We can probably try to make a rock is you rule somewhere in here. But that doesn't really seem to give us much more benefit, does it? Hmm. 
So we know we can change them to both, um... Wait a minute. Rock is crap does not help us. The only direction we can push rock is going to be over here. So before we do that... Kravis defeat, people with a seafood allergy. I I like this one. It's difficult to figure out. I'm pretty sure we're eventually going to have to change that um we're eventually going to have to push the crab and flag in there. Wait a minute. Wait, no. We want that back over here. So, we get the rock. Yeah, we can do... Any of those, so we can move Baba is you horizontally. If we move Rock up, then we lock it out. What I'm thinking is we can try to push some of the roadblocks to where... We can try to move the rock into the area with the crabs before we change into rock is you. Hold on. Check this out. Now, we can change between Rock and Baba anytime. So what I want to try to do... Just checking. Okay, so words will push other words. Does lock us out of manipulating the rock. We can do rock as wall, but we can't change wall into anything else. Yeah, this game is going to be famously challenging. So, before we move all that down there...
Yeah, that gets rid of the rock. Yeah, this one is going to be difficult to start with. Wall will stop, Baba. Hmm. We can only do rock is you. We can't move Baba is you vertically. So we'll have to sh shift these over here. Make rock as you... Make rock as you now, then just wiggle the rock into the wind. Thing is, the rock is already overlaid with the crab. So if we do, um... Rock is you. We would immediately die. Or, the rock would immediately die. And we need that rock. Thing is, we cannot move the, um, Baba is you vertically on its own. Wait a minute. Hold on. No, actually. That gives me a brilliant idea. See, I did say this, but we didn't apply it. So. I think we are going to have to dial things back to where we get that rock out of the crab situation there. Rock is you. Let's actually move these over here horizontally. That can also work. Need to be careful here.
Yeah, we can do that to make more baba, but that's not helping us. We can't move anything to where, um... We can't change the crab or flag at this point. God, we're so close. Just, Kirito, you're making this worse than it has to be. Come on, we got our first big, big brain puzzle. Try to make Baba is push or... See, it would be silly for us to try to swap around the Baba is you or rock is push. What we can do up here then, instead... Yeah, no, that just blocks us off from there. So what I want to try to do... There might not be yet a way for us to juggle this down there. What I want to try to do is have a rock positioned here, and then push it forward. But honestly, I think we've spent a bit too much time on this one. We do know that that level's going to be a bit harder, so we might want to pick up a couple of our other tricks first. We will come back to that one. Yeah, we spent like 15 or 20 minutes on just that one level. And that is a bonus, so it's going to be a while before we can do anything with that. Key is open, door is shut. Rock has no interactions yet. We'll come back to it, Kirito. Simple enough. Welcome, Kayla! We just got out of one of the difficult levels, and we're gonna try to see if we can brush up our understanding of the game with a few of the easier ones. Key is push. So the first one we want to do is this. Hmm. 
Ah. There we go. Easy enough. Title is a paraphrase of Oppenheimer. Uh, yeah, it, I am become Baba instead of death, which I'd rather have Baba than death. Actually, just to show y'all a little something something, this game does have a level editor, correct? Quite complicated, so it may be good to check out these tutorials. No. Let's just make a new one. Oh, it's gonna take us through the whole tutorial first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough reading. Create a new level. Um. Baba is, or can we not find any new level elements until we encounter them yet? Looks like we have a bunch of empty sl slots here, so it doesn't seem like we can, um, Looks like we have to unlock some new ones first. Ah, okay. So no, we can't even do what I wanted to do yet. Looks like we gotta unlock more parts first. We can't just immediately mess with the level editor, which... Horrible game design! You should be able to mess with every single rule from the very, be very beginning. Yeah, I was gonna do the Baba is more joke. Just as a demonstration of how important this game's rule set is. Jelly is stop. Wall is stop. Uh, I I'm going to go ahead and wait on um, showing everyone the Baba is more until later, Eva Kitty. So we can do... I mean, I'd be happy about winning from a jellyfish. Jelly acquired. Okay, and... Says we need three to get through that door, just for the sake of completion. I think it would be a good idea trying to go through as many of these um, as possible. Ah, no worries. Wait, what the heck just happened? Flag is rock. Rock is rock. So yeah, now it's trying to teach us a rule that we've just been using.
You can change objects into other objects. I'm gonna try to do these in their numerical order since I assume. Yeah, as I said, occasionally we'll get someone other than Baba. So now we have Kiki is you. Door is shut. Key is push and open. So we gotta get this key out somehow. We don't have flag is win yet. Oh, interesting. We can't push that door back away after we change it to you. And if we do this, Oh, hmm. Ah, because we don't have door is shut yet. Yep. Hmm. We can't move that U around yet. Hmm. Baba's just not going to be in a few of these levels. So, do we try to manipulate it to- wait a minute. So what I think, if we can get the, um, there we go. We need to set things up to where we can try to shift it around to where door is you and shut. That's the only way we can have those two is is arranged, I believe. Y'all, I'm very sorry for what I'm about to do, but I think I know what must be done.
No, just had it wrong. Hmm. So we don't have the KK is you solved on that exact same turn. I might be overthinking of thinking it. What if we just have um key is shut. Does that change anything? Anything. If key is open and shut... Okay. That... I mean, I want to say it doesn't make sense, but that's going to be the rule set of the game that we have to understand. So if something is both shut and um, open, it self-destructs. It seems like a pretty open level, indeed. Ah, flag is flag, so we can't just change flag into jelly. stop. We can't change Jelly as win, so now we need to do... Haha! <laughs> What's my cat's name again? His name is Boots because he has, um... A different shade of fur on the tips of his feet. He's normally a, um, he's normally a tabby all over, but his, um, feet roughly past the elbows or, um, knees are all one color. And I didn't name him. Someone else did. He was actually an adoption from a friend and currently... Yeah. He's in his little, um, cat tower, getting a snore on. Wow, I can, I can actually hear him from across the room. No, his name is not actually Skronko. Skronko is a descriptive term. Alright, flag is push, Baba is open. Yeah, easily done there. Hmm. Flag is open, but we don't have a, um... Yeah, we don't have a way to push the flag yet. Door is shut and stop. Mm -hmm. 
So I imagine... Yeah, we'll have to sacrifice one of these. With flag is push, we can have... And now, ah, Baba is crab. I see the issue. Well, we don't need the flag anymore, so let's do Baba is Baba. Crab is defeat. Crab is win. And there we go. We use one rule to override the other. Ah, beautifully done. Looks like this is the last level we have in this area. And then I will go ahead and break so we can get another refill. All right, let's look at this one. <laughs> yeah, people like seafood. Funny enough, I am anything but a seafood person. Tried crab, tried shrimp. Really, the only things I can end up liking are, um... Well, then again, I could say, like, fish and squid doesn't really... Actually, I've tried sushi before, haven't liked that. I've, um... Tried tempura, kind of liked it. Not much of a seafood guy myself. Yeah, this level looks silly. He is defeat, so obviously we can't just go and pick that up. Star is push, wall is stop. don't have a way to signify that door is shut. We can do this, though. Who said anything about opening doors? <laughs> and there we go! Was watching a video about Smash Balance and the video started recommending fish spatulas. Not a brand or a sponsorship, just a style. Wind goes off if something that's you is in the same place as it. Still holds true if it's the same object. Hmm. Noted. Let's take a look at this one again and see if we have any immediate idea.
I feel like there's no way to prevent that from ha wait a minute. Yeah, and there's no way we can get to the other side of the rock, either. Yeah, we can't push that backwards, because the instant we try to be able to get behind it, it's going to move over there. So what we can try is if there's a way to use rock is you... We've already set Crab to defeat, though, so there's no way to change that. So, what we ended up doing last time, we actually had a bit of what Epikitty called juggling, with having Rock is Push right here. Next to Baba is you. If we can prevent Rock from going along the top row... God, designing these games has got to be so rough. Rock is you. Okay. What's your idea, Chris? While I'm thinking. <laughs> do we really have to just bump these along the far end? I guess we do. When rock is not push, we can, uh, move inside rock. I do believe that's the idea. Although I don't think we can manipulate that from our current rule set here. Thank you. 
Yeah, that just locks us out there. Yeah, we can walk inside the rock as long as it's not push. Alright, so what's your idea there? Inside the rock, you can move the pieces of rock is push outside of its space before setting crab to defeat. Wait, hold on. Did I completely miss that this entire- Okay, I see what you're getting at, but let's think about this. We want to... We want to do Rock and Baba is you. That'll be it. That's a very good observation, Chris. I guess I was a bit too hyper-focused. All right, we are a little bit overdue for our first break, so we'll go ahead and head back to the map real quick, and I will grab a refill of tea. I don't think I need anything else, though, so I will... I mean, I'm probably going to be back in 30 seconds. Just give me one moment.
Yurito, are you being upset over one solution to a puzzle game? I had no idea you were this dense. Oh wait, I did. You're a Sword Art Online fan. Zero, zero. Hmm. Although if this is a programming game, we're going to have... Oh, isn't that silly. Rose is red, violet is blue, flag is win, Baba is you. Note how all the flowers look without any color words applied to them. Roses are blue and violets are... green. Yeah, we can do Baba is win, but we have to have Baba be both win and you to get that solution. See, I'm pretty sure the violet is there to be that conspicuous. Baba is win, Rose is you. There we go. <laughs> I love that they still went through with the whole rhyme at the end of all that. Baba is float. Aha! Hmm. Oh, and he's got a little hover. So, I mean, obviously we can just move, um, Baba is win to the top, but what about if wall is stop and win? Hmm. So if we're float, we can't interact with something to get win. I mean, I guess that's just a demonstration of that single rule, and that wouldn't invalidate our attempt to win right there. In the same place is not on the same space. Baba is you in float. Skull is defeat and float, since the skulls also float. We will end up getting defeated if we run into them. Oh! It's 7.30. You all know what time that is. Time for 
an intermission. And welcome, Coral. What the heck was that? This is a rule I like to call cat is purr. Face the mic, you little rat. No, not me. Face the microphone. Ow. Them on and just get to um roll grind roll grinding but I'll leave them on in the background Kirito you added the wrong person so as a quick aside epic kitty um like clockwork, every single night my cat comes to visit me at 7.30 CST. So, we do get this. Guaranteed, about halfway through every stream. I'll turn him back up. Alright, let's think. still hear him, or is he too quiet? Alright, I'll leave him on.
so much. Oh, wait, we just did this one, didn't we? Ah, it's a twist on the previous one. You're a weird cat. You're a very weird cat. Did you know that? All right, seems like he's elected to stop purring for now. So yeah, I'm gonna let him, yeah, I'll let him vibe. No, he's still purring slightly. There we go. It's been a very good day so far. Hmm. All right, um, tactfully ignoring the first thing you said when you entered. Uh, what was it? Oh, the, um, hi dad joke. Uh, yeah, I might cover Lemon Demon one of these days, if that's what your question is. All right, back to, f <laughs> back to focusing. Uh, what did I miss? We've still got Rockus Float, so Baba can't explicitly interact with it. Well, inevitably, I will, and technically I already have, covered Lemon Demon. 
Tusk Tusk should have been here for the one-year celebration. I think out of everyone here, only James was there to witness that beauty. Until my, um, voice got shot, like, halfway through the set. The first two or three songs were great, but everything after that, I really could not keep up the voice. It was fun. So we can't disable rock as float. You're, oh, you are so, come here, come here. You're so weird. You do know that. You do know that you're very, very weird. You should stop nuzzling my mic. It, don't bite me, fine. Go away. No, the, um, the karaoke was on the one-year celebration back in June. Little rat bit me. <sighs> All right. I'm guessing we can't do Baba is you is win. Yeah. We also don't have enough is's to do rock is win and rock um is you simultaneously. I could, but we need to have you and win together. If I just did Baba is win, we wouldn't actually get any results. Hmm. We're going to need that win. That is one posture check. And a hydrate. And a stretch. And even more hydrate, since I'm going to guess y'all are going to try to drown me once again. Fine, 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 fine. Xander is drown. I see how it is. Hmm. Is there any way to do flag is push? Flag is rock, rock is flag. I hate to say it, but I think the solution is sacrificing Baba. Because now...
Aww. Ah, but the rock is still float. Hmm. We can do flag as you instead of rock. <laughs> yeah. No, um, we can't structure it like that, Kirito. We have to have an and. We can't do a flag is you is when. Hmm. We can't do it like that either, Chris, because, um, the rock is still floating. And we still have no way to get past all the hedges. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to need Baba at some point. Oh, wait. Guys, I literally just set up the solution for myself, like, twice. Yeah, that one was a bit... left field there. We actually got the solution quite a while ago, but we didn't think about putting it back. Text is float, Bob is you, cog is push. I don't get how that one pushes the text, but all right. Hmm. Uh, what's going on, Coral? Did you do something wrong again? Hmm. Oh, that was in response to the last level. How about you try and stream this game, Coral? Because I already have to use half of my brain power to keep up character. Why is the assumption that you did something wrong? Because you are a walking disaster, that would be why. I can only dedicate about 25% of my thinking power to the game itself. Hmm. 
The only one of these rules we can push is Baba is you, but we can't really change any of the effects there. Text is float, and if we change any of these... Oh, well, we can do that. Now we can try to secure the is. There we go. See, I gotta keep up conversation with every one of y'all while still trying to think about what I'm doing here. Flag is win. Robot is you. Finally. Water is sink. Pipe is stop. Yeah. Um, Coral. I got a request for you. Cry. I want you to cry. Robot is you, robot is stop. Hmm, that's weird. Ah! See, I knew we had to misalign them horizontally. That's how we do it. There we go. Only if they were, um, one space off horizontally could we get one of them to push into the water, and only one. Thank you, Coral. Baba is you, robot is move. Ah, I see. We need to stop him. Okay, there we go. Hmm. I imagine we have to do something where, um, robot pushes the Baba is you into... Okay, hold on. We'll have to set this up to be... Yeah, there's no way they're gonna make it that easy. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we will need the robot. We might have to do a, um, Baba is move or something like that. Interesting. Couldn't you have just brought the robot out of there and made it win? No, because in order to do that, we need to push something into here. And if we push an is over here, 
We have no way to move it downward. We can definitely do Baba is Robot. Brought the robot out of there and made it win. Like, what are you talking about at this point? Ah, we can do something like that. Now we can do Baba is win. There we go. Area clear, sure. Nah, I'd rather keep going. For what I know, we have a really large number of levels in this game. At this point though, I will try to ignore any solutions from the chat unless I'm really, really stumped. This is supposed to be my puzzle solving experience. Though, I definitely appreciate your help in the bonus level from way earlier. Let's think about this one. Baba is you and open. Flag and key. Water is stop and shut. Okay, figures. Yeah, can't move key in there. Hmm. We can bump these down. Or probably better, we might want to move them up. And now that we have them arranged like that, we can use... But we can't push it, that's right. Hmm. I wonder if we can do key and Baba is you. Ah, all right. So 
so we need to get we need it to eventually be something is you and when It help if I made it unambiguously clear that I wanted it. Yeah, I'd like to try to sit down and figure out a few of these. But I do admit that I do have a tendency to um tunnel vision pretty often. Like with the whole um rock solution for that first bonus level. As well as tunnel visioning tunnel visioning a lot for that section with the bridge building with a question mark. I will take that hydrate, of course. I'm also going to probably spend a lot of my focus on the actual stream itself rather than responding to chat for most of the time. Hmm. Oh, whoops. One too early. Let's try to get all these parts into a set where we can move them wherever. Already again for the stretch and the posture check. <sighs> Feeling better. Thank you. Well, I'm glad to provide those cozy vibes. As long as you keep crying, Coral. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, we can do, I don't know if we have a way to set it up to where, um, key is Baba or flag is Baba, stuff like that. You're lying, Coral. I already know who you are. Flag and key is open, but we still can't move them. Hmm. Can we do 90 degree rotations for rules? No. Ah, good night, Kuma. Very glad to see you again, as always. Hmm. This one's stumping me, but I still gotta think about it a bit. So... We'll need to somehow set them to you and open. Okay, 
Now I've got an idea. We'll need to move an open down here. Okay, so we can do flag and Baba is you. We want to keep those in a line together. Well, yeah, I always have to be mean to you, Coral. It's what you come here for. Don't act like I don't know you. Yeah, I feel like I'm tunnel visioning really tunnel visioning really hard on this one. He is open and flag, maybe. Okay, so if we redu reduce the objects we have to use, now we'll have... We can do flag and Baba is you. Y'all are arguing a lot in here. See, that's why I tried to avoid a lot of games like Valorant. That kind of stuff can t take me from a um, bad mood and make it worse. <laughs> Let's see. Flag and Baba is you. Is there a way we can make um, flag into Baba? No, because we have only one is. Okay, can we do a flag is you and open? And open. Then if we do this,
Baba is you and when? There we go. Took me a while. But the solution was figuring out that we needed to condense our variables and turn either the flag or the key into the other. Baba is you and win, or whatever it was. Ah, Kiki, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> Let's see, bolt is melt. And is push. I wonder if there's a way we set up the bolt to where it, um... Yeah, we don't have it moving yet. Skull is hot, and with the way this, um, defeat is positioned, if we do that, we set it up to where Skull is defeat. So I imagine we want to get the bolt moving through there on its own, correct? Ah, skull is hot, so we can't just send the bolt down there. If we move the bolt up here, and then have you move... Ah, skull once again. So the bolt can't interact with the skull until... Skull is no longer hot. Just to check. Okay, so Bolt can move items. So what I think... We're going to have to do a timed passageway. See, what we do here... If we have the Bolt already on the way, where, um... It ends up bumping the Skull out of the way, we might be able to maneuver that. So... Now we can change it to move. Yeah. Skull is defeat. And if the bolt moves that out of the way, Skull is no longer defeat. And we don't have to worry about hot anymore. So now, there we go. Hmm, that one was a bit easier. So we've got some extra versions of a, this is what CSS feels like. Uh, what do you mean by CSS? Counter-Strike Source, or...? Water is water and hot. Baba is melt. Baba is you and float. Skull is defeat and float. Oh, website CSS. See, I never use that CSS. I hear, like, four different other abbreviations for that. Oh, also, I realize this has been down on volume the entire time. And none of y'all told me. Yeah, um, the other instance I usually hear that is character select screen. When we're talking about, um, fighting game design stuff. 
So I do that for game dev. I've also done that a lot with the... You kind of like the volume low. Hmm. Maybe strike a happy medium there. I suppose it does make me a lot easier to hear. Are you supposed to float on top of the water? Well, yes, but we also need to get around the skulls, which are defeat. The key here... Yeah, it was the fact that the Baba is You was placed right in that little spot there. That would be a direction to get back to the map. And let me guess, we get another twist on this one. Alright, what's different this time? Rock is float, text is float. Ah, so now we can push the rock on top Ah, uh, that would be a mistake. We never want the rocks to be one object. We've done this one basically three different times, but it has a different rule set every single time we do it. You sure? Hmm. Yeah, there's three different instances of the instances of this one. So rock is you. I mean, easy enough. Yeah, I'm thinking about um hanging out in VC afterwards, Chris. I might get me some more loaded fries as I do that though. Oh wow, time flies. Yeah, I really, really want to keep playing this, but I do think it would be responsible to keep it to only three hours this time. Just in case. 
Okay, cog is stop. And move. Can we do stop and move? Right, I was thinking push, not move. Okay. Pipe is stop. Bob is you, flag is flag, bog is defeat. We can never make Baba not you. I don't even know where to begin. So, we have only Baba as you. So that's the only character we're ever going to control. We need to figure out what we're doing with the robot and the cog. And I imagine we need to get them both to move. But... We need to have them in a ver Can you see my mouse? Okay. We need to have one of them positioned in somewhere around here for them to be able to push these out of the way because we need to grab that win. Flag is rock and win. Well, for something a little bit stupid. Okay, idea. So we want to position the two robots to push the and at the same time over here. We don't need cog anymore. That robot is doubled up here. Robot is push. Do the Xan- oh wait. We'll do the Xander thing and have the robots do the work for us. So. We change move in here. And then we wait until they move the rules down there. And there we go. Send our robots into position to do all the hard work for us. Looks like we've got a lot of bonus levels in this area. This will be interesting. Hydration secure. How you doing, KK? Hmm.
Y'all just gonna make... Ugh. Ugh. You're just gonna make me keep doing the stretch thing, aren't you? Prison. Hmm. Baba is wall, kick it is wall, wall is stop. Yeah, we're in jail. <laughs> hmm. We've got so little to use here. Baba is you. Keke is push. This is really the only change we can immediately make. So, me sitting here with my prison buddy, what rules can we even change from here? We can change Keke is you, but then we're kind of left back on square one. So, one of them will be you, and one of them will be Push. I don't think we get any benefit out of making one of them into stop. So our other option is turning one of us into a wall, maybe. Hmm. We can do keke is wall, but can we do wall is push after that? There's not really any way we can easily make a wall is push off of here. Since this one has a space above and below, I imagine we do something with manipulating this vertically or changing one of our rules to incorporate that. Hmm. Gotta put on the thinking spectacles. Clip posted in the Discord. Chris, did you clip it? Did you literally clip the moment of me telling Coral to cry? I mean, I can't exactly... Hold on. Mute that. Is that the one where I told Coral to cry? Oh, yeah. Um, pretty simple. I just told Coral to cry. 
Is there anything wrong with that? Let's see, it doesn't look like we can do what we were doing earlier, where we kept shuffling the text to move the blank is you down periodically. Was there context for that? Ah, uh, let me scroll back up in my chat here. Oh, um, Coral got upset at me for something. I guess it was because a, I eventually came back around to a um, roundabout easy solution, and Coral seemed upset by that. So, I told Coral to cry. Because if there... What was the motive? Um, the motive was... Coral being upset at me missing a solution? I guess? Coral typed my name in caps lock. That's enough of a motive for me. Which, really, I only need about a tenth of a reason to bully Coral. They deserve it. I really have no idea what we're doing here. Wait a minute. We can have both... Baba... or... Bava is you, Keke is you. Push, 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 push. Hmm. This one's a little too weird for me. Maybe not yet. Oh, wait, that one's the 11. So. That's not even the bonus level. Never mind, this is the one we have to solve. No, it's definitely not a not a crime if Stella's the one being bullied. I mean, if Coral's the one being bullied. Stella a bit less so, but we have made a pact to be polite to each other. Which Stella finally wisened up to. Coral, however, keeps setting himself up to be bullied. Over and over and over again. I know you just want to be happy, Coral. Same here. And I know being bullied is what makes you happy. Would you want me to stop bullying you? It's a gentleman's agreement. It's not a pact. It's a gentleman's agreement. Today, yes. Okay. You do understand that I'm trying to hide the smirk on my face, given the fact that you wanted it to stop for only today. I'm giving you a forewarning. You will have to be direct. <laughs> but I apologize for my behavior earlier. I mean, we can't really set up a, um, Keke is Baba or anything like that, right? Yeah, this one's got me stumped. See, we can't do that.
I mean, yeah, but that doesn't really change anything. See, I know we have to do something with the push. Hmm. Yeah, no. I think after about two and a half hours. I don't have enough brain power for that one, so we're gonna skip that one for now. We... I don't think we can push wall or stop there. Because we can't, um... We can't, like, bring the wall or the stop off of here. All we can do is move this or up or down, which is likely part of the solution. Well, let's stop. The thing is, it doesn't look like we can move this vertically, because if we move any of those rules, those get ruined. That's what we'd be trying to think, Avid. Hmm. What we want to do, maybe, is, um... Wall is push. I didn't actually think about it, but if we just do... Can we push Keke out of the wall? No, that stops. Hmm. I mean, we've had Keke is push for a while, but it's kind of locked us in here. If we do Baba is Keke without any sort of a, um... We don't have enough ises to go around. Because, yeah, we can do something like that. So I feel like we have to use, um, Keke to push some of these rules around. Yeah, Wall's not willing to share there is. Baba is Baba.
Yeah, but then what do we do? I don't think there's anything we can do off of Keke being positioned here. We can push the is, but... Up front. Yeah, at this point, I'm looking for options. What do you think, James? It shouldn't be that hard to figure out since we only have so few rules. But I'm completely stumped. And here's a Skrunko. Holy shit, James. Okay, so... Something to take away from this. You can overlap a character and a word if that character is not you. But the characters that are you will push words around. Very well, perfectly done, James. I think we're not gonna be concerned, concerned about those secret levels for now. Uh, we do have a little bit more time. Let me guess, that one's still locked. Yeah. Let's take a look at a couple more levels. So you can overlap words and characters if they're not you. Love is teleport. Oh, ho! Like extra dash two. Let's take a l another look at it then. Yeah, we didn't take much of a look at this one. Ah, it's this whole thing again. So the thing to remember... Ugh, 
VTuber sneeze. So, the thing to remember, and the thing that I can't get into my head, is that we can overlap with a lot of the other objects if they're not currently having any rules applied to them. Jelly is push. Hmm. So how does that change everything here? Rock is you, Baba is push, and so is Jelly. Yeah, we can't push that one more. Can't do it like that. See, the jelly is push is weird, but But at what point do we get to push the rock the two tiles over that we need? No, we can't do something like that. So the blank backgrounds with the solid letters are the objects that we can change. The solid backgrounds with the... um. Carved out letters are the rules that we can manipulate. The jelly is push is weird. I feel like there's something we have to set up at the beginning, but I'm not too sure yet. Um, the push is wouldn't do anything. We need to have the, um, 
you at the end of a sentence or followed by an and. Rock is Baba, Baba is Rock, Rock is Push. We don't have a way to push the Rock two towels over the crab yet. Uh, if I get stumped for too long, I'll ask for a uh, suggestion, Arius. I am still wanting to try to figure out the game on my own as much as possible, but it already seems like a puzzle game might not be the best thing for me to play on stream. Usually it might be best to focus on a no thoughts head empty kind of game, because I have to divide my attention between... One, being in character, two, responding in the chat, and three, trying to think about puzzle solutions. And we can't push anything past the jelly there. Yeah, it's it's going to be a riot. I can definitely tell. And we can't even push the rock further than that in that direction. I mean, that's one way to end your existence. Ah. Pick up the Skrunko again. Rock is you, Baba is push, maybe. Ow, ow, ow. See, I kept thinking we could have pushed something over here with the, um, crab, but we can't push the is over the jellyfish.
Yeah, you can't double up on Izzes like that. Stop being such a scrunkle. He says hi again. Let me hear it, Aaron. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I turned up the mic gain because Grunko. And I'm definitely running out of brain power up here. with text. We tried that a bit before. Hold on. I think we tried that when we were doing the um, other version of this. Bubba is rock, no. Um, let's see. No, because we can't do that like that. If we try to rearrange it to where we get, um, Rock is push and Baba is you off of just one is, we might be able to push the is down there. Push the rock in with the whole phrase. Right! That's what we did for the previous solution we attempted. Yeah, the um, directions are a little bit more troublesome with the stream delay.
yeah, the crab is definitely not happy with us. <sighs> you know what? We'll come back to this one. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Okay, hold on. Cross the Rock and Baba statements where they were in a plus together. Use the spare is to push the um, rock in there. No, that would be... That would, we could do Baba is rock, but that wouldn't make rock is you. Actually, wait, no, we want to do that. See, there's not really a way we can push them further, push the is down there, while leaving every element of this manipulati manipulatable. I guess if we wanted to try doing that... Using the is to push the ro I think what I'm still not getting is the interaction between a lot of the text and objects that are not you. So rock is push can be pushed by words. Pushable objects push each other.
All right, I think I can dig it. I might try to see if I can find a couple of custom levels to try to get used to a couple of the rules here. I think if I had a full sheet of all the rules on like a side paper or something like that, there are impli th you think there are implicit rules of words are push. That one is, uh, yeah, there's a couple of um, blind spots in my strategy that I'm not getting yet. <sighs> um, I think my brain's definitely fried by this point, especially for that being the first time I play. I'm going to let that stew over for a couple of nights, and we'll inevitably come back to this next week. Let's see. I don't think I'd be doing any schedule changes, would I? Nope, I literally think we can end up doing um all the same stuff next week. Since December's supposed to be a bit slow for us. <sighs> that is a posture check. And a stretch. And I've accidentally unhooked my headphones yeah um very much a brain is tired situation indeed so i'm gonna go check to see if i can get my hands on some food and then afterwards i will be in the discord those of you who might not yet be in there There is a link if you would like to join. I do believe Chris said he was going to be streaming Pokemon. So I'll be showing up for that after we have confirmation on if I can get myself some loaded fries or otherwise. Xander is tired. The stream is over. Raid is not happening. Class is dismissed. Attendance is thanked. <laughs>